Welcome to my first video of 2022. I'm Erneko and I would like to thank you for the past year. 2021 was definitively a good year for me. I started to experiment with orchestral, making music analysis that I disguised as a tier list. And of course, some bangers! It was an incredible ride, but not without pitfalls. I have already written my statement of the past years in the community tab. I know a lot of people didn't have the chance to have a good year 2021. So I'm really grateful for my situation despite the event that happened. And I hope that 2022 will be the year of recovery for a lot of people. I'm going to start this year with a fairly light video. Reacting to my top 5 bangers of 2021. And that's not because I have an oversized ego, but because there are flaws to notice. A lot of flaws. And it's also a good way to give some cool facts. Because you seem to like that. Here are the 5 songs I will react and then classify. Epic anime theme. Jesus Christ, these names suck. I'll call it E80 to make it simple. The Unknown Leia. Wankil Stellar. Fellow Phobia. And Revival. So without further ado, here we go. E80. Now before we start listening, I studied musicology in computer-aided music and I have already composed for instruments. But this is my first orchestral music on YouTube. I started with two drafts, like this one. Maybe too dramatic and it's a bit flat. And this one. Good energy, but it was a bit slow. After that, I took the best elements from these two drafts. And it gave me this. This is my first time adapting this 3D editing style. It took me a long time to edit, but the result was top notch. And it was fun to make. So this music is very inspired by Daniel Licht because I bought a gaming laptop and I could finally play Dishonored 2. I had to present an anime music style during Kevin Penkin's masterclass but at the same time I wanted to do a Dishonored inspired music so I told myself let's mix the two. The dark theme represents this Daniel Licht inspiration and the light theme represents this anime style. I like this cat. We are now approaching the climax of this music. And... It's good, but a little weak. The French horn is bad. I had to manually add distortion to give it power. On the other side, the Made in Abyss flute sounds good, but I have the impression that it is irrelevant. What saves this song is the writing of the instruments, like the flute or the brass. And even if the execution is bad, I find this piece rather successful. In conclusion, the video editing is better than the music. 
I place it in fifth position. Even if it's the worst of the five, I'm very glad to have composed it, because at this moment, I planted a seed that grew for months and gave me the next music to be composed. And that music is... The Unknown Layer. The first time I played the inverted music box of the first layer, it didn't inspire me. But then, after Kevin Penkin's masterclass, I decided to come back to this. And wow, it sounds like a new music from Kevin Penkin. No, I'm very far from having his mastering and technique. But man, I had this feeling I'm onto something. This masterclass was very informative and it gave me back the motivation to make another epic music. Now, that's the power. This piece is inspired by Made in Abyss, but also by Tower of God. There is just one thing that bothers me. What the fuck is this haircut? I know it was 8 months ago, but clearly I had no idea how to style my hair. This is my haircut now, pretty close to my Omori icon. For my interpretation of Faputa, I'm using Viruji Ethera Gold 2.5. The name is oddly specific, but this VST was the perfect candidate. A powerful and expressive voice. This is my favorite part. I wanted to add my touch in this Made in Abyss fan music. My ukulele playing the same melody but a different harmony. And then this tempo transition called an hemiola that I took from Savant who was one of the first to use it in EDM. But you can also find it in Goodbye to a Word from Porter Robinson. Hey, is that a banger? Honestly, I love this song, but taking strong inspirations makes the result impersonal. Oh, these vocal chops are also from Ethera Gold. Quite a versatile VST. And that's another inspiration from Porter Robinson. Conclusion. This music is the result of many failures. But it is by learning from your mistakes that you move forward. I learned a lot from this experience. And now I have to find my own way. I place it in third position. Who would have believed that a music box could bring this music to life? After this, I remembered the project that I wanted to do for years. And with the resources I had, I felt ready to accomplish it. This project was... Wankil Stellar. The sound is very quiet at the beginning, so I have to speak a little low. Some of you must be wondering, what is Wankil Studio? It's a duo of French YouTubers focused on gaming that I have been watching for five years. They are so funny, sometimes a little raw, but above all, they are good people. What's great about them? is that they did quite a lot of things in IRL, which gave this cinematographic aspect to this music. That's a nice view. Here is Lank, and this is Terracid. And for more than 10 years, they are Wonky Studio. 
This music is inspired by the collaborations between Hans Zimmer and Christopher Nolan. This very low French horn in A minor, which is a nod from Inception, is from a free plugin for those interested, called BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. The best way to start in symphonic music. I'm very proud of this transition. To switch from Inception to Interstellar, I wanted a powerful C chord, like the songs Dreaming of the Crash and Stay. This part is a nod of a song I made four years ago, Il est Libre Lank. Thanks to that, I was discovered by Wonky Studio and its community. In Wonky Stellar, I wanted to illustrate the best moments as well as the worst. Because, despite the pitfalls, they were able to move forward and create many beautiful memories. Oh yeah, right! This piano is inspired by the title screen of Chicory because I was playing it at the time. Anyway, here is the conclusion. Although I am far from a rendering worthy of the greatest movies, I am proud of this work. Unfortunately, I prefer the other music that I made this year. I placed it in fourth position. Honestly, it's very tight between third and fourth place. But the worst is to decide the first place between Fellow Phobia and Revival. Who will be the top one? You will know it. After a short break... Fellow Phobia. Here we are, the banger with half a million streams on YouTube and SoundCloud. If you watched my Omori music tier list, you know that the acceleration is inspired by Recycling is a concept from the Omori soundtrack. So, in this video, I said that it was the user Aviatra who discovered the homophobia theme sped up at 400%. But it turns out that there is an older source on January 12, 2021 by the redditor Bluefinch, 17 days before the other source. And this is my take on the homophobia theme. Porter Robinson's most famous song is Goodbye to a Word, associated several times with the game Undertale. But my favorite Porter Robinson song is Fellow Feeling. And after playing Omori, I felt that there were similarities between the two, starting with the eponymous song Omori. Similar to fellow feeling, I see a lot of people disliking the ugly part. They just enjoy the beautiful part. But the corruption that sets in is like an allegory of guilt. And I see the parallel with fellow feeling when the beauty and the ugly collide. Big thanks to the Omori Fandom website, which extracted all the sprites in Omori. Without that, there would not have been this video or my Omori music tier list. Oh shit! Here come. The fears. 
It was not planned to put Duet in this mashup, but I did a test by synchronizing it in triplet, and it was perfect. This is not arachnophobia, but acrophobia. I had to change the sample at the last minute. And today, I don't know if I made the right choice. God damn it! These images. Clearly, this is a banger. But there is a big negative point. It's not a real composition. There are no VST, no writing, just a lot of great samples. In full transparency, I feel like I'm cheating. This music wasn't meant to be a big thing. I was just having fun fiddling with musical samples. I never thought I created something that would impact people so much. But seeing the comments, I can only be grateful that masterpieces like Omori or Words exist. I place Velophobia in second position. Which means the winner is Revival Question Is this song a masterpiece? Fellophobia was clearly a banger But what about Revival? This is my second Made in Abyss inspired music But this time I tried a different approach I wanted to create a reinterpretation of these three works Made in Abyss Nurture and silent voice. That's a fucking great VST right there, playing so realistically and expressively. This is Joshua Bell violin. If you want an anime style solo violin, this is the one, but it's a little bit expensive. If Velophobia is based on words, Revival is based on nurture that shows another side of the artist. And I love both of them. Even if I put Revival in first position, that doesn't mean it is free of defects. They are always a strong musical inspiration. I could do without, but here is the sad truth. If nobody knows you, nobody will listen to you. That's why so many people call themselves musicians, why they only reproduce existing music. And I am also guilty of it. However, I'm glad I found things that I really love. For real, I didn't understand nurture when it came out, but over time, it has become my favorite album of 2021. Unfortunately, the biggest hits today are mostly covers or samples of older songs, and Fellophobia is an example. It's good to make bangers, but it's better to make masterpieces. So here is my big conclusion of this video. It's interesting how every song I produce in 2021 draws inspiration from the media I have consumed throughout the year. Video games, anime, movies, and of course, Porter Robinson. I am not a professional. But here is some advice I can give you. Be curious, but above all, be demanding with the type of content you consume. 
you can watch anything you want, from classic to controversial. But keep a critical mind, refine your tastes, and you will find works that speak to you, works that will become your standards and can become an inspiration for your future projects. And you, what's your favorite banger I made in 2021? In the next few days, I'll be posting a poll in the community tab. I have the feeling there will be no match. But who knows? Maybe after watching this video, your opinion has changed. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Usually, I post one per month. But this year, I will try to post more. I already have the topic for the next video. So, see you next month. See ya.